Good morning, class. Our topic today is Importance of Fish Conservation. TLE, A Quarter Two, Lesson Two, Week Two. Content Standards. The learners demonstrate an understanding of the concepts and skills in fisheries. Performance Standards. The learners perform the skills in fisheries following safety precautions. Learning Competency. Learning objectives. At the end of the lesson, the students are expected to Fish Conservation the scientific means of utilizing fish and other fishery aquatic products slash resources. This could be accompanied by observing fishery laws, rules, and regulations affecting fishery products. Importance of Fish Conservation Conservation and sustainable management of fish biodiversity are essential for the well-being of both aquatic ecosystems and human societies, supporting ecological integrity, economic development, and the cultural heritage tied to these remarkable aquatic creatures. Local Endangered Species In the Philippines White-finned Hope Shark a hound shark of the family Triacidae, found only in the tropical waters of the Philippines between latitudes 20 degrees north and 5 degrees north. They inhabit the coastal areas. They can grow up to a length of 96 centimeters. Adolescent specimens have dark areas on their caudal fins. Hampalolopizi. Hampalolopizi is a species of ray-finned fish in the family Saprinidae. It is found only in the Philippines. Cinerapan. The Cinerapan or tabios is a species of fish in the Gobi subfamily, Gobianellini, and the only member of the monotypic genus Mystichthys. Sardinella tawilis. Sardinella tawilis is a freshwater sardine found exclusively in the Philippines. It is the only member of the genus Sardinella known to exist entirely in freshwater. Locally, they are known in Filipino as tawilis. Barbodes amaros. Barbodes amaros, known as the pate locally, was a species of cyprinid fish endemic to Lake Lanao in Mindanao, the Philippines. This species reached a length of 10.8 centimeters. Fish Sanctuary Fish Sanctuary means to establish and maintain a particular area in the water body as a permanent shelter for protection of fish for natural propagation. Some examples of fish sanctuaries in the Philippines are the following. Paput Daytag Marine Sanctuary, Santo Rosario Marine Sanctuary, Ayala slash San Ramon Tourist Zone, and Marine Reserve, etc. Santo Rosario Marine Sanctuary, Apos Island Marine Sanctuary, in the southeastern coast of Negros Island in the Philippines. Open and end season. Fishing in the Northeast Palawan shall be closed from November to January. The Visayan Sea will be closed from November 15th to February 15th. The Sambuanga Peninsula closes from December 1st until March 1st of every year. De BFAR. Fishing in the Northeast Palawan shall be closed from November to January. The Visayan Sea will be closed from November 15th to February 15th.
The Sambuanga Peninsula closes from December 1st until March 1st of every year. De BFAR The practice of a closed season for fishing is defined by the Philippine Fisheries Code of 1998, as amended in 2015, as the period during which the taking of specified fishery species by specified fishing gear is prohibited in a specified area or areas in Philippine waters. Closed fishing season helps important fish species to reproduce or spawn, fry and juvenile fishes to mature, and fish stocks to recover. The Bureau of Fisheries and Aquatic Resources, BFAR, said in its Fish Files magazine in 2021.